How can we make Baking Chris Adventures even more fun and exciting? Hey guys, this is Baking Chris here, and today I would love to tell you some great news. What I'm hoping to do in the year 2022. I am planning on going to Orlando, Florida. And Orlando is really nice and hot out there. And it's a great place to cool off in the summer. And I'm hoping to go to Disney World, but I'm definitely going to Universal Studios. And of course, do we really want to do it? SeaWorld. That's right, SeaWorld. Because SeaWorld has a lot of fun animals and also some fun roller coasters such as Kraken, Manta, and Mako. I did the water bottle as a special effect. So, let me go change my shirt first. Okay, that is better now because I just splashed myself just to give myself some special effect. So anyway, for SeaWorld, I was going to say that Kraken, Manta, and Mako are fun rides to go on. Plus, I really want to ride the new Icebreaker at SeaWorld. And this roller coaster is was originally going to open in 2020, but due to the coronavirus, it had to be postponed. And... The good news is, is that at my work, you guys know that I work at BJ's, I got myself two $25 gift cards. I got one gift card, $1 off, and then the other one, $5 off. BJ's had a Black Friday sale where you can get $5 off of a, or actually it's $19.99 for a $25 gift card. And I was lucky that I got one. SeaWorld gift cards are really nice to have. Plus SeaWorld. These cards are not just for SeaWorld. They're for Busch Gardens, Sesame Place, Aquatica, and Adventure Island, which is in Tampa, Florida. And Water Country USA, which is in Williamsburg, Virginia. I've been to Sesame Place years ago. And I've been to SeaWorld in Orlando. And the last time I was there was in 2012. So it looks like I'll be doing the 10-year challenge, it seems like. The last time I was at Disney World was also in... 2010. Yes, 2010 was the last time I was at Disney World. And the last time I was in Busch Gardens, Virginia, was in 2014. What I wanted, what I'm definitely doing in 2022, if I do get a chance to go to Orlando, is definitely do a Bacon Crisp adventures video and it's going to be more than one episode so i have the sea world gift cards and i'm planning on getting universal tickets so that i can go to all three of the parks like universal studios florida universal's islands of adventure and the new water park that opened the same year i graduated high school was volcano bay the last time I was in Orlando, when I went to Universal, it, there was Wet n Wild Water Park. And that closed in 2016. And then they opened Volcano Bay. And now they use the Wet n Wild area for Universal's Endless Hotels. But what I want to do is... I want to be able to go to Orlando, and I want to make my Bacon Chris adventure videos more special. And what I would like to do is I would like to find some ways to get some filming technology, too, 
and not just filming technology too, to make the ride more interesting. And I would like to try to make intros interesting, not just intros that look like this. But I would like to make more my Baking Chris Adventure e episodes intros more interesting, like an interesting parody. For example, my Universal Baking Chris Adventures should begin like this. Now, keep in mind, I do not own Universal or the company logo. I'm just showing these logos for, you know, examples. If I was going to Disney World, I would be doing this type of parody logo. And I do not own the Disney logo as at all. I definitely would love to go to Universal. And for Universal, I would definitely look forward to going to those free parks that they have there, too. I would like to go to Disney World, too, but I'm trying to limit my vacation spots. I'm huge on Orlando more than I am on Disney. But I do love Disney, to be honest, too. And BJ's does have Disney gift cards, too. But what I would like to do is limit the amount of time that I spend. Hopefully it's not as crowded, too, when I go to the theme parks as well. Because Florida is nice and sunny out there, too. For Universal, I would definitely like to ride the Incredible Hulk coaster, the Amazing Adventures of Spider-Man, the Velocicoaster, Dragon Challenge. Oh, wait, they, they removed it. Ah, huh, then they replaced it with Hagrid's Magical Creature Motorbike Adventure. Harry Potter and the Forbidden Journey. Seuss Landing. Toon Lagoon. And so much other rides that they have there at the Islands of Adventure. And then at Universal Florida, there's Despicable Me, Minion Mayhem, Shrek 4D, which just closed not too long ago. Wait, I can't ride that anymore. Hollywood Rip Ride Rockets, The Simpsons Ride, Men in Black Alien Attack, E.T. Adventure. I remember going to Orlando and I had a lot of memories going on some of these great awesome rides. And I, I was also at Universal Orlando back in 2004. And I remember when they had Jimmy Neutron's Nicktoon Blast, which was one of my favorite rides there. And then it got replaced with Despicable Me. Dragon Challenge was a ride that I enjoyed, too. It was the only dueling inverted roller coaster. But I was upset when they got rid of that coaster back in 2017. Yes, there's former attractions that were fun riding, but unfortunately you can't ride them anymore. And for Disney, you know, if I do go to Disney, I would like to ooh, meet Mickey Mouse and the Disney characters too. And... If I do go to Disney, I will go to all four of the parks like Magic Kingdom, Epcot, Animal Kingdom, and Hollywood Studios. And it would be fun to do a Bacon Chris adventure in Disney World, too. 
And when I go to these Orlando parks, I will, guys, let you know on YouTube and Instagram when I'll be there so that there can be another meet and greet or guest special appearance, too. I would love to do that on Bacon Chris Adventures. And I would love to do is be able to film some good rides, film some good shows, and I hope... What I'm hoping they won't do is give me a copyright claim, too. I mean, I gotta be careful what I film, too, as well. So what I wanna, so what I'm also gonna plan on doing is I'm gonna keep looking for hotels, keep looking for airfare, and I'm also gonna look for a rental car. I was looking on BJ's website to see if I can be eligible for a rental car. The age is that you must be 21 or older. So, and have a driver's license. But the thing is, is that some rental car places don't allow people under 25 to rent a car. Well, I'm 23. And I'm going to be 24 this year. So... Hopefully, I'll be able to get a car, too. Well, this is going to be a rental car because there's no airplanes that can take your car with you. So, you're gonna ha I'm going to have to rent a car. And I'm actually planning this trip by myself, too. So, hopefully, it's going to... I hope to stay safe, too. I got to plan time off for my... Vacation, look for the best airfare too. Shop at BJ's to see what kind of gift cards they have for different places and to get a good deal on travel too. So that I don't have to be paying high prices for vacation too. And I already started saving too. I mean, I still want to go to Sandusky, Ohio this year. And there's so many decisions. Too. The thing is, I can be going to these places by myself. And safety, too. Gotta watch out for safety as well. And right now, I'm not gonna be going to Orlando. But I am gonna plan on going soon. In, in the summer, or maybe I'll go in the winter time. Because the thing is, is right now, COVID cases have been increasing right now, too. And hopefully, people will get better by then, too. Because COVID-19 is still going on today. So, what I would like to do is make Bacon Chris Adventures more exciting, too. So, after I go to Orlando... I'll be able to upload these videos onto YouTube on time. So that's everything I would like to say for now. So I will do some more Bacon Chris Adventure episodes coming soon. Right now I have to take care of a bunch of business too. Like important business of myself. You know, family business, work business, car business, finding a home, getting food. The usual stuff, too, but it's going to take me a lot of time to plan this. So, that's the end of my video. This is Bacon Chris signing off.